Good morning guys, hope you're doing well. Uh, today I want to talk about, you know, how to deal with people's judgment or opinion better and, you know, five strategies or perspectives to remind yourself um, to get better at, at that. I want to just thank uh, the person that submitted this to me. Uh, I really appreciate it and, you know, for anybody listening, uh, if you have a, a topic to send, uh, please send it uh, to me. Uh, I really um, enjoy, you know, trying to make vlogs of relevant topics. So the first thing I would say is realize it's a skill. Just like, you know, reading a book, uh, running keeping up with friends, the more repetitions that you do, the better you get at it, right? So, say you decided to run a mile every other day, right? By the time you did that for like the 10th time, like for you mentally and physically, it's going to be easier to run that mile, right? than it was as compared to starting day one. So I, I think just remember that, you know, dealing with people's judgment or opinion, that's something that you need to build up and it, it doesn't happen overnight. You know, it takes time uh, and working on it to get better at it. A second thing I would say is create the right perspective. Right, so for each of us, that's different, right? We all have different motivations and different uh, desires and goals out of life. I'll give you mine. Um, however, I don't think that that's necessarily the best perspective. It's just my perspective. So for me, you know, I... Uh, I think about the last day. That's how I, and not like in a morbid way, but in a way of, you know, on my last day, in my last moments, will I be truly satisfied with the way I lived or will I live with regrets? And, you know, obviously I don't want to die tomorrow. That being said, if I did, I would die happy. You know, I'm going to the job I want. I'm working on Grateful Living, you know, the platform on my, on the side. I'm, you know, being the best friend and family member that I can be, you know, to my close friends and family. I would not look at the way I lived my life as a waste of time. I don't know if a lot, if everyone can say that, right? I think a lot of people are doing things for society, for parents, for people, and that's internally creating a lot of angst, a lot of, you know, emotions of, do I really like this and enjoy this life? And in some ways, it may eventually lead to you know, feelings of, you know, annoyance um, towards either the people or whatnot um, that kind of told you this was the right path, right? Um, you know, if you end up, you hear stories like this all the time, but if you end up changing your career path at 40, you know, I mean, I don't know how you'll feel, you know, if you were, you know, becoming a lawyer for your parents and then, you know, but all along you knew it wasn't the right path. And then, you know, again, I mean, it, it, it is what it is, you know, and maybe, you know, um, There's blessings in becoming a lawyer, but, you know, you, I just think, in general, to live with no regrets, 
you have to live on your own accord. And that's not always easy, right? Uh, everybody has an opinion, family, friends, on the best way to live life. Again, I think it goes back to point one, which is you're going to have to build up that skill. You're going to have to really focus on your desires, your wants, in creating the life you want, you know. Um, yeah. The third thing I would say is realize judgment will always be there. And you need to be comfortable with that fact, right? So... Let me say this before I get into it. Obviously, the way you live your life plays a part in people's judgment, right? So if you're a bad person or a bad human, then yes, people will have negative judgments or opinions of you. And so, you know, in general, I think, you know, I would, I hopefully this goes without saying, but I would try to be the best human that you can be, um, you know, always. With that said, realize the judgment and opinion of others is something that you will never control. So, right, if you're successful, people will could say, oh, like, I predicted it. Or they could say, oh, he got lucky or she got lucky. You know, if you f have a failure, oh, I, I, I predicted it. Or, like... You know, they'll gossip and laugh at you. And so I think the important thing, and it's one of the tough things in life to do, but you just have to remind, remind yourself to control the controllables, right? So like I said, you know, obviously be the best human that you can be. But outside of that, you're never going to control anybody's opinion of you, you know? Um, you can be a good human being and someone have a bad ju opinion or uh, judgment on you, right? Um, the fourth point I would say is, is just reminding yourself that you are a good person and you are trying your best. You know, give yourself credit. Um, you know, for this point, I really thought about the people who are hanging on to the past um, and have regrets on the way they handled, you know, a family dispute, um, a friendship dispute, a breakup, whatever. It, you know, at, at the end of the day, you have to be confident and love yourself enough to know I am a good human being. And I am, you know, and not really in a cocky way, but in the sense of every day I am trying to be my best self. And and do do we fail, you know, on certain days, certain situations? 100%. We're all human. We all make mistakes. But again, you know, it, 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 to me, with this situation especially, it's again remembering to control the controllables. If it's a situation where you feel like, you know, apologizing or mending relationships is possible, then approach it. If you feel like, <clears throat> you know, there's too much damage that's been done, then you just have to move on, you know. The fifth thing that I'll say about judgment and opinion is who's judging you. Right, so... If one of my really good friends came up to me and called me out for something that I was doing, right, I would take their, you know, what they're saying with a great deal of seriousness because they know me, they know my character, and they know my story. If someone that, you know, met me once has spent maybe one day, you know, of their life with me, I, and they form an opinion, I, I mean, I, 
like I can't you know you have to realize like you can't hold that person seriously they don't know like anything about you you know um you know I, again I, I I think of situations where people you know interacted once with a person and you know maybe it wasn't their best day and then they get self-conscious about that but like at the end of the day that person judging you doesn't really know you and the level of standard that they're maybe holding you to do you think they're holding themselves to that standard i don't know so i i hope this helps um you know the five strategies were you know realize it's a skill set you know create the right perspective you know, re realize judgment will always be there and be comfortable with that. You know, remind yourself you're, you're a good person and you're doing your best. And, you know, take a step back and, and look at who's judging you. I hope, you know, for the person that submitted this question and for anybody else, you know, um, that this helped. You know, if there was a part of this, you know, that didn't, I didn't, you know, address, you know, um, especially with the last two points really wanted to work with situations of you know conflict or dispute but let me know i mean there's obviously an angle i may have missed and i'm happy to do another uh video on it thanks guys